It's seven tips, guys. Seven tips. These are seven tips why I'm going to put all of us in the same situation, like why we are not catching fish in some situations. And we can take, you know what I'm saying, take some stuff away from these notes right here, guys. We're going to go over them right quick. We'll go right quick. I'm going to start at the top. Okay, we'll go over, we'll go over number one right here, guys. Number one on this right here. This is just for somebody, like say, I'm, I'm including myself in this here too. You know what I'm saying? If if somebody that don't hard that don't ever go fishing and really don't catch fish when to go, and somebody that goes fishing but don't catch fish consistently every time, you know what I'm saying? So that's me too. You know what I'm saying? All of us kind of go in this here category. Here's some good tips here, guys. I'm gonna go over right now. Number one is study the layout. Like I said, I got it written on the paper right here. Study the layout of the pond, lake, river, or creek. Or whatever you're fishing, guys. Study the kind of study the layout. Kind of before you go there. I mean, you can pull up a pond on Google Maps or you know, and, 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 and check ponds to see, you know what I'm saying? If if they're they're they look like they got grass there, is it a grassy lake? Is it got rocks in that lake? You know, is it got standing timber in that lake? What what colors the water? You know what I'm saying? Try to do some studying beforehand. You know what I'm saying? To see what kind of lures you might need to throw. You know what I'm saying? Even what kind of line you want to change to. You know what I'm saying? Even what kind of line you, you change to. You know, that'll give you a good game plan. Whether if you if you like to fish in the grass, you know what I'm saying? And you know that pond's got grass on it. Find, find out, find that grass area and go to that area first. You know, start at that area. So usually the best bite is right at sunrise, when the sun's kind of rising up, getting there, you know what I'm saying, that's kind of your best spot, so you go hit some of your best spots first thing in the morning, you know what I'm saying, so if you like to fish grass, you know, go fish grass with your favorite lure, you know, different things like that right there, and, uh, and you know, just adjust your 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 lures to the, 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 the water, if the water's dark, adjust your water to dark, your, your lure to, to the darker water and everything like that right there. You know, if you still ain't studied the layout in the lake, if the lake's got a creek running into it or something like that right there, you might want to go down that creek and try, you know, try that fresh water coming out of that creek, you know what I'm saying? Just study different parts of the uh, the lake that you're fishing before you get there or, you know what I'm saying, but even before you get there, like I say, you can pull it up on maps just about anywhere. Number two, Paul, number two on the list right here is you fish too slow, Pa. You're fishing too slow, Daddy. You are fishing too slow, Pa. In some cases, in some cases. But it's not like, okay, I'm not just saying fishing slow is bad or anything like that right there. I'm just saying it just like this right here. I'm just saying it just like this right here. Just say that you're, you're fishing an area that you're fishing down the bank and you're fishing slow. But the area that you're fishing in is a dead area and there's no fish like on that stretch of bank. You know what I'm saying? You don't know this because you're just, you're kind of going, this is people, you know, if we got depth finders and we're going down the bank, we're just fishing. We might fish a hundred yard stretch or, or more. That's just a dead spot. There's no bass. You know what I'm saying? But it looks good. It's pretty. It's got places you're flipping in the spots. You're finding all kind of good, neat places, but there ain't no fish there. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no fish there. And the reason why I say, you know what I'm saying, you're fishing too slow, if you, it, sometimes it takes speeding up, fishing faster, finding them bass, and then once you find the fish, then you kind of slow down and fish that area out. You know what I'm saying? Fish it thorough, flip to each bush, or however you want to do it. But uh, until you find them fish, fish, fish fast. I mean, fish, fish fast to cover enough water that way you can actually get out there and find the fish. And when you do find them, then start fishing slow. Then fish all around it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, there's going to be at times where the slow fishing is going to win because they're just not biting it fast at all. But 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 that's a, that's number two, Paul. That's number two. We got five more of these here to go. God, we got five more of them to go right here. Guys, like I said, if y'all like any of these, ty these, uh, these tips right here, Give me a, uh, throw me some likes down there. Give me some thumbs up, guys. And like I say, and these tips right here, they're not written in stone or nothing like that. These are just some tips that I'm throwing out there. There's some people, like I say, take the ones that you can use and the others that you can't use, just don't even think about them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. Number three, pa, number three. Okay. Okay, number three on here. <clears throat> Okay, is you don't use enough techniques. Like I say, this is, I'm including myself in this here too because it happens to me too and everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Don't use enough techniques 
with certain lures that were that were presently used and that might work in the situation that we're fishing in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know y'all know what I mean what, when when I say like, okay, just say you're fishing a rubber worm. You know, you're about you're, you're fishing a rubber worm. You're bouncing that baby up on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? You got your routine that you're doing with them. The fish don't, you know, in some cases, the fish don't want it like that all the time. You know what I'm saying? You got to do something a little bit different. They might want that worm be it if you'll re just say you're steady retrieving that worm in and they want to bite it like that there, you know, or you're giving it some pops and letting it flutter down and you're pausing it for a while. Different presentations you can use with the same bait to catch fish. You just, or, or it might even be a, a certain lure that you're using or, or crankbait that you're using. You're throwing that crankbait, reeling in, throwing it and reeling in. You're not getting no bites on it, but it might be. You might need to stop it and stop and go with it. You might need to stop and go with it. Or you might need to, to, to jerk it a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? Some erratic acts. You know what I'm saying? They're just different ways to present your, your bait out there to the, to the fish. There are different ways, you, different ways to present your bait out there to the fish. And my point is, you know, just don't look at one bait with just only one way you can fish it. You know what I'm saying? Look at a variety of different ways using that same bait in a certain situation, you know what I'm saying? In a certain situation, I mean, and it, you know, like I say, and you'll be surprised, you know, fishing one bait a certain way and they're biting it, and you'll fish it this way and you won't even get a hit on it. You know, so that's, a, uh, I do the same, but when the bite is on, it's a great combo. Okay, a lipless, perfect example. Yep, lipless, perfect example. You know, ripping a lipless crankbait, yo-yo in a lipless crankbait, or they want it burning in. Yeah, you know, like I say, uh, Definitely, you know what I'm saying? That was one of my things this past weekend. I found the fish biting a certain way. There was only a certain way we was I was fishing, and the fish was wanting to bite it that way. They didn't want it any other way that we could figure out, but they was wanting it in a certain way, you know, that, that, that bait there a certain way. We're going to get into the next one right here, Pa. We're going to get right into the next one right here, guys. And, okay, don't be afraid to locate the new areas to find fish, guys. Don't be afraid like i say this is number four on the list right here paul don't be afraid to reach out and go to new areas and fish guys i know you know we already we you know I, it, me myself i'm the same way i got my my you know certain lakes that i go to i got the places that i like to fish i you know i got my places that i like going to because they're good areas i like like going to them but you know they don't work all the time you know they don't work all the time all the time when you go there you're not going to work these fish move different places or they set up in different areas so sometimes it's good out to, to go out and venture and find new spots to hit find places that you haven't really never fished before and try them out for yourself and see what you can do with them you know what i'm saying you know don't be afraid to, to venture out and find new spots different places to go just like me and uh me and my buddy jim the tournament this here weekend the tournament this here weekend, we ventured off, Pa. I'm telling you, we went down in the woods, Daddy. I'm telling you, we drove for like five or six hours straight trolling, probably like six or seven hours just straight trolling down up a creek with the trolling motor, Pa. I'm talking about, we found fish too, you know what I'm saying? We ventured off, found fish, had an awesome time out right there. I, yeah, I had an awesome time out right there, Pa. But anyway, when we get back at it, Pa. I'm going to get back at it. Yeah, but like I say, even though you catch fish in one place, doesn't mean they're always there, guys. Doesn't mean they're always there at all. Doesn't mean they're always there at all. Number five, guys, we're going to get into number five. And this one here I was having a little problem with during one time, Pa. And number five is get your line right. Get that line right, Pa. Get that line right. Tie the right knots for the right types of lines. Tie the right knots for the right types of lines. You know what I'm saying? You got different knot ties. Everybody knows, you know what I'm saying? Most people do, but some people don't know how to tie, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't know how to tie. Me there one time, I just tied up some stuff, you know what I'm saying? And just fishing, you know? Then as I got progressed through fishing, learned my different knots, you know, and, and tie my stuff on accordingly now, but you know, you got different lines for fluorocarbon, you got different, uh, different knots for fluorocarbon, different knots for braid, different knots for monofilament, different knots in connecting the lines together to make your leaders. You got different knots for that. So it's good to learn them knots and get that line right. And as far as line goes, what's the best line 
to use. I mean, as far as line goes, what's the best line to use? I mean, people have to say, what's the best line to use? I mean, whatever you'd like to use. I mean, whatever kind of bait you're using in that case, you know what I'm saying? Go with that kind of line. But to pick the line you're comfortable with, it don't really, it really does all the line, all the line out there is pretty, pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? All, some of it's trash, some of it's a whole lot better than others, but most lines, particularly, you know what I'm saying, through the, the monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braid are some pretty good lines and it can be used for a variety of different things. Just go with whatever you're comfortable with. You know, one time there I did not like braid. I wouldn't use it. I just hated it because it always got tangled up and I had to always have a knife with me to cut it. I couldn't just bite it off like I usually do, you know what I'm saying? But now I get why I'm using a lot of more more braid now myself then I'm starting to use anything else. I'm starting to lean more towards it, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you don't get no break offs, you know what I'm saying? You don't lose the fish and everything like that there. But, you know, floor carbon is kind of tricky. If you, you got a little twist in your line, you know what I'm saying? When you tie your knot, you can still burn it, it'll still break. You know, so there's different, yeah, there's, you got to learn them different knots for the different types of lines that you use, probably different knots for different times of line that you use. And we're going to get on into the next one right here, guys. Like I said, if you got any questions too, guys, just drop them down in the comments. I, I look, re look through these comments and answer some of these here questions, guys, if I can help, if I can do anything about it. Huh? Like I said, I'll help you out on there if I can, you know what I mean? But we're going to get back into the next one, guys. This is number six, guys. Like I said, I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me here about these right here, listening to these here tips too, guys. Like I said, if you're getting anything out of any of these tips, guys, drop me some likes, guys, drop me a little love. Uh, down in the comments, pa. Knuckle says no more mono for me. Lloyd Chavis, I use braid for frogs, jigs, and deep cover. Mono for worms, flora of most for reaction base. Yes, I hear you there, pa. Okay, I hear you there. <clears throat> I use mono only. I guess I need to try others. Yeah, it's always good to try different kinds, of brand. And I like using braid around a bunch of. You know, if you're going to be fishing about a bunch of trees and you get hung up a lot, boy, you can take that, that braid and just snatch the whole tree down if you had to. <laughs> yeah, appreciate the, the, the love there, y'all. Appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the love there. Appreciate the love there, my man Josh. What is up, my brother? Okay, here we go, guys. Number six. We're going to jump right on into it, pa. We're going to jump right on into it. Number six, guys. Look back at, look back at your mistakes and look back at your mistakes after every trip, guys. It doesn't matter if you caught fish that day, killed them that day, or you didn't kill them. If you caught fish that day, you still had mistakes. There was still some stuff. We can always get better at something. You know what I'm saying? You got to look back at our mistakes and see what happened. You know what I'm saying? See what we could have did. You know what I'm saying? Because I know there's been some instances where... You know, you just be fishing. You be like, you know, sometimes you get you get kind of, when you're out there fishing, you start to kind of daydream in a way. You know what I'm saying? Where you're kind of out of it. You know what I'm saying? You've been fishing for a while. Hadn't got a bite in a while. You're kind of out of it. You actually catch a fish. You're like, oh, shit, I caught one. You know what I'm saying? Then you put that pole down, and then you go pick up another pole and go to throwing it. Don't catch nothing. Pick up that other pole, the same one that you caught the bass off. Throw it out there again. Start messing around. And, you know what I'm saying? You caught another fish. You know what I'm saying? You got to look back and, and and think about, you know what I'm saying, what was I doing in that moment to catch that fish? What was going on? You know what I'm saying? Was was I working my bait a certain way? Was I stopping it? Was something happening? You know what I'm saying? Or or you, even your hook sets, you know what I'm saying? Just say, just like me, I know I lost a lot of my fish uh, this past weekend with my hook set, the way I was hooking my hook set, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of, I was kind of, you know, the way I was snatching, you know what I'm saying? I, I should have probably been doing a more of a more of a sidearm snatch, you know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to snatch up, snatch straight up like I was doing, you know what I'm saying? I might have hooked more of them their fish if I was kind of snatching, pulling off to the side, you know. So it's good to look back and look at them mistakes, you know. And then sometimes we'll we we'll fish with a lure too long. We'll fish with something that we like to use, you know what I'm saying, because we like it. And we'll fish with it too long. And make a mistake not to throw it down, you know what I'm saying, and try something different, you know what I'm saying. We do that a lot too, you know what I'm saying. I do that a lot myself, you know. I use something that I got confidence in that I want to use, but they're not buying it. And I just keep on using because I, like I like how it throws and everything, you know what I'm saying. So that's how it will. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how it, uh, yeah, that's how it definitely goes right there. That's how it definitely goes. 
Right, I said, the bait boxes make you try new baits. That's why I love the monster bass. But I need to get me one of them monster bass boxes. Brian, I believe I actually ordered one of them too because you was talking about it. I believe I actually ordered a monster bass box. It should be here any time. I'm going to try them bad boys out, Pa. What's up, Curtis Britt from the Riverbank, Pa? What is going on there, buddy? I hope you're getting them tonight, Pa. Lord, say that's my biggest problem. Yeah. But it happens. It happens. You'll get lost. I mean, just, I mean, you won't get lost. You'll just. You, you you might go over, you know what I'm saying, and use that favorite bait and just just overthrow fish. Fish are just looking at it and they don't want it. They want something else, you know what I'm saying? But it always, you know, not be afraid to try some different baits, you know what I'm saying, some different baits, different stuff, and find out what they want to hit first and then adjust it as you're, you know, as you're fishing it, kind of adjust it if you got enough, you know, enough tackle to adjust it with and everything like right there. Last tip, guys, number seven, pa. And this is one of the, this is like one of the top ones too. Number seven, Pa. You can't cast, Pa. Number seven, you can't cast. And like I say, you know, I'm not talking about you as a person in the V's. Like I say, just saying, you know what I'm saying? That's got a lot to do with it too about learning to cast in different spots. Like even like learning to cast skipping, like skipping a lure. That's a real good thing to learn in certain situations too because. You know what I'm saying? You might have to, you know, skip your lure up in the brush, up in the stuff that other people are not fishing to catch these fish. You know what I'm saying? Catch these harder to get fish. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's fishing around the edges of everything. You know what I'm saying? But who's really skipping up in there or getting up in them tight spots? You know what I'm saying? Or hitting them holes from afar, you know? You know? And the, hey, and it, they, I mean, I mean, it, it might, I'm not really talking junk, but I mean, the, the casting thing, learning to get out there and cast and throw at a spot and hit a hole is 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 a good you know is a good skill to learn you know what i'm saying it's a good skill to learn because if you can actually target your spot your spot that you want to throw and throw in and hit it i mean that's your percentage i mean your confidence level is what goes up because when you're throwing a good spot you're like oh yeah i'm in a good spot i'm gonna get one you know what i'm saying it kind of builds your confidence level up every time you throw and catch, you know what I'm saying, it will throw and hit a spot, you know what I'm saying, throw and hit a spot that you're looking at or that you think that, that you know what I'm saying, there's a fish there or whatever. So, I mean, I get hung up too, you know what I'm saying, I mean, I get hung up too, I mean, I, but it's just the, the cast and you know what I'm saying, the the, the, the more you practice with your, I mean, when I was little, I used to go outside and I would throw with a bucket, I mean, I'm pretty sure some of y'all did it too, you know, throw with a five gallon bucket, I mean, over and over and over and over again. You know, and I got pretty good where I can, I mean, I can hit some spots when I'm fishing. I can pretty, I ain't trying to brag or anything like that, but I can hit some spots pretty good, you know what I'm saying, casting wise. But if you hit them spots, practice casting and get, hit, get good at hitting spots, doing little pitches in, in places, I mean, you could be surprised at the, the fish you can catch in a tight spot too, you know what I'm saying? So casting is a big thing to work on too when you're fishing, especially when you're fishing in places that's got a lot of cover in it and you can throw in little different spots and little nooks and crannies that you see, you know what I'm saying? Like say the other people ain't throwing in too, guys. So that's the seven tips right there. I don't know my camera keeps going dark on me for some reason right there. That's the seven tips right there, guys, that I got for you. Like say you follow some of them seven tips like I say, you'll probably end up catching more fish, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I need to learn all these right here too myself, you know what I'm saying? So I put them out there for everybody on here too. I put them out there for y'all to share, guys. Like I say, maybe it's a little bit more fish, Pa. Like I say, you got any questions y'all want to talk to y'all? Any questions? Y'all want to drop some questions down in the comments, guys, and I... I answer them the best I can or look at them and check them out. I come with some more tips and some techniques for you that I can drop out there. Like I say, like I say, uh, appreciate y'all guys for watching. And like I say, I hope y'all have a good night, guys. I'm about to hop off here. Yee! All right.